What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and another hot day in Missouri, but today we are working on the Tahoe. So I haven't had this in the video in a while. And uh, the reason being is because really we were ready for paint. So that's ultimately the next step in this, but there's two things that I wanna take care of before it goes to paint. And those two things are, if you guys know, a while back I did replace this door because it had a huge dent on the inside and I struggled with getting these old pins out. So uh, I, I hated the look of these Dorman replacement pins. They just, I don't know, they see how they stick out of the bottom here and they have a keeper and you can see this keeper's already gone. But the factory ones set flush, I'll show you here. This one right here, you can see how it sets flush. There's nothing out of the bottom. And so obviously we can't reuse, this is the old one I took out of this side. We can't reuse those. But I don't want to be banging around the back of this once it's painted, so I want to get this replaced before it goes to paint. And I also replace the door pins on the other side. I need to do it on this side as well. So I'm going to be doing that today. Now, I did find that GM still makes those pins, which is awesome. And they also make the bushings. So you can see I've got bushings. And then for the, for the door, the Dorman pins work fine because um, you really don't see those and they actually work really well. I'm pretty impressed with the way they worked on the other side, but for the back guys, I just don't, I hate that look. It just, it would look weird. And like I said, it's, it's sticking out of the bottom. I just, I hate it. So I'm gonna replace those even though, um, you know, we already done it once. The other thing at some point I'm gonna have to do is I, I replaced the power steering pump on this or the steering gear and the new steering gear is leaking, which is apparently pretty common for these things to be junk. And I did not fix my steering slop. Now, some of it is gone, but I'm pretty sure it is in the actual um, steering gear. So at some point, I'm gonna have to replace that again. And this time, I'm either gonna try to find an original GM part, which has been discontinued, or I'm gonna have to find a reputable company that makes one that doesn't leak. That one already is leaking as well. So I haven't driven this thing more than five miles and it's already leaking so we're gonna have to do something but today we're gonna focus on this rear door i may have to have my son come up and help me i've got my cherry picker out to use on the door which will help but for the back one um i really just need to go get or i need to get my um my neighbor's um air hammer i'm trying to think of what i needed my neighbor's air hammer i need to buy an air hammer to be honest with you if you guys recommend one drop it in the comments down below because it seems like the o'reilly's ingrisol ran um just doesn't hold up and i know my neighbor has that one but i don't think he bought like the cheapy o'reilly one so let me know if you have a favorite in the comments down below because i am looking to buy one i definitely need one i'm kind of sick of borrowing my neighbors i'm sure he's sick of me borrowing it as well although he's been pretty cool about it so i'm going to set you guys up on the tripod we'll see if we can knock these old ones out of place so before i go get an air hammer i'm going to see if i can just take these guys out without that because um, maybe they're loose enough that I can just tap them out with a, maybe not. I think I'm gonna have to have an air hammer, guys. Looks like I'm gonna have to. All right, I'm gonna go grab it. I thought maybe since I had taken them out, they might be somewhat loose. I might get lucky, and I'm not that lucky. So unfortunately, my neighbor's not home right now, and I'm not just one of those guys to go get something without asking. So I kept tapping on this, and I got it up a little bit. So I'm wondering if I keep going. Maybe I can get it the rest of the way. There's no good spot to hit on it right here. Um, and I put a little tape on here to kind of help protect. Yeah, see, I already tore the tape. So probably need the air hammer. I'm gonna go get a towel to wrap around this. This one looks like it might be moving a little bit. And this bumper bracket, it ties in like way on top of the frame. I'm assuming they put that on before they put the uh, actual body on. So I'm gonna have to find something a little longer to hammer on this. So I got a screwdriver. I don't know if 
it'll be enough. Well, maybe. These things almost fight you the entire way, um, or at least the new one did. I just got to figure out how to get this top one out. I don't know. Need a better punch. on it already that's why these things that's why they're a pain to get out if you guys have ever taken these out before oh my gosh I didn't think the air hammer that he had was gonna get it done I really wish I could get that hammer on the end of that maybe I can use the old pen Definitely more solid than one of the screwdriver was. That one is not moving, it doesn't look like. Oh, did you hear that change in sound? Look at that. Now maybe we could switch to the screwdriver. I'll get lucky here. He'll probably text me as soon as I get this out and say I'm home. Isn't that how it works? Now I just got to get my son out here to hold the door and uh, maybe we can get the bushings out. Okay, so my son ran off, so I'm hoping that maybe I can do this on my own. The problem is, is it hooks. need help going back though. Holy cow that door's hot. So now we need to get these bushings out. These old bushings. And look one fell out. I had one that was kind of wonky going in. I didn't think much of it but there's obviously an issue there. Yeah, these bushings suck. That one held on pretty good. I may have to save these in case I mess another one up. All right, let's open these new GM bushings. Let's see if that helps us. So we got the new bushings. Let's see if we can tap them in. It should.
should have one that goes here. One up from the bottom and then the same thing on the top. It's kind of deceiving. I'll list all these part numbers down below, but from looking at the other door, I thought maybe I'd put them in wrong the first time, but they actually do go in the in this piece and not the actual door. This one may be fun to put in. today guys you want to make really sure that all your old bushings are out otherwise you'll destroy the new ones going in I actually think this worked really well Yeah, that bushing tore up. I think I may have a piece of the old bushing left in there. good. I'm just going to have to uh, bend this old bushing a little bit, get it back where it needs to go. So I actually ended up using one of the Dorman ones because look at what happened to this guy. They're split. The Dorman ones are solid. It's not going to matter the bushings anyway because the uh, both pins fit through it. I may find one that fits a little tighter than that. But yeah, I'll get another one that fits a little tighter. One of them fit just a hair tighter than the others. So I'll get that in there, and then uh, we'll see if I can get some help putting the door back on. big hammer. I'm 
So I was able to go over and get his air hammer. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock these in. I'll probably turn the sound off for this because it is pretty loud. It is absolutely amazing how good an air hammer works. Uh, you saw it took like, I don't even know if it took 10 seconds to put those things in place. So now we need to, uh, I moved it a little bit because we need to get the old door pins out of this side. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna start, um, trying to think here where I wanna start. I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my cherry picker up and uh, hook it up. I went ahead and cracked my window. I've got an axle strap that I'm using and I'm hoping I can do this by myself, but if not, then we may have to wait until, uh, cause I don't have any help today. But um, I'm gonna be replacing a couple things. So I'm gonna be replacing the roller pin, which is this guy here. I'm also gonna be replacing the two door pins. So uh, you can see you got a door pin here and then you have another one on the bottom. What I'm gonna try to do is um, I'm gonna to try to knock the door pins out first with the air hammer. So this one drives down, the other one drives up. And then once I get that loose, I should have a little more room. I'm gonna to have to knock the top off of this guy, uh, which I do have a bit on the air hammer. Hopefully I can chisel the top off. I might actually hit that first. In fact, I think I will. I think I'll hit that first, chisel that off, and then we'll work on driving the door pins out. So at this point, I've got the door supported. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can hammer the top of that one off. Uh, I've just got a flat blade on the top of my air hammer, and I think, um, I think it should come out fairly easy. Now that we have that knocked off, I'm gonna use my little um, spring compressor here to try to compress this spring, get it out of the way. Now, sometimes it'll just fall out when you're doing this. Sometimes it won't. I'm hoping that I have to adjust it down a little bit. These things are relatively cheap and uh, believe me, they are really, really nice to have when you're putting the spring back in. Like I said, sometimes it'll collapse and it'll be fine coming out but going back in it's really hard to get in without a pair of these and they're not the greatest tool ever sometimes it's a pain to get in there now we'll get it there we go tighten it by hand for the most part. And you can see why I wanted to do this before it went to paint. Because it definitely disrupts, you could disrupt some new paint if you're trying to do this afterwards. Oh, it came off. As you can see, I was able to get it out. And uh, sometimes it likes to pop out of this thing, but we got it and now we'll move on to knocking some pins out. Sometimes you have to wiggle that door in and out and up and down and around. 
So I did go ahead and undo the boot here, and that just gives me a little more room to push it back. Now we can go ahead, get the uh, air hammer, and drive this top roller pin out. That came out pretty smooth, but if you ever wonder if these need to replace, look at the bend in that. That's how you know, guys. And your door starts making weird noises and creaking. That thing definitely needed to come out. So I'm gonna go grab the other one. It's actually in the freezer. And um, I don't think, I think the, I think it did. Okay, the, um, I was gonna say, I, I think the, um, I can't even think of what I'm thinking about. The piece, the insert, I think it came out with it if it even has one. I'm not even sure that it has one, but if it did, it came out. We will have to take these guys out, these bushings. That's what I'm thinking of, bushings. We'll have to take those guys out and replace them with the new ones that come with the new pins, but this guy needs to be replaced first. I will say I use a Dremel to loosen this up a little bit because the new one is a little bit bigger, guys, and makes sense because you don't want it to be the same size, otherwise it wouldn't stay, but I will tell you I had a ton of issues getting the old one in or the new one in on the other side because the hole wasn't big enough. Now, I have had this thing sitting in the freezer, which is a good idea to put the pins in the freezer if at all possible. It just kind of contracts and then hopefully this is warm and we can push it in. Now, I'm going to go grab it out of the freezer and we'll see if we can hammer it in place. I wanted to show you one other thing. Look how much thicker that pin is. So it's actually bent up here on the smaller part. So hopefully uh, we won't have this issue in the future. Anyway. We're going to see if we can hammer this thing in. And I'm telling you guys, it is stubborn. It does not like to go in there. I like to start it with a hammer and then uh, we'll grab the air hammer and see if we can push it the rest of the way. You'll notice one of the things I did do is I went ahead and unplugged. There's three plugs that plug the door in. So I went ahead and unplugged those to get them away from uh, what I'm working on here because you need as much room as possible. And I'm telling you guys, this takes some work um, to get this thing started. It uh, does not, it wasn't wanting to go the first go around. And it looks like when you can get it up in there like that and it wants to stay without falling, you're getting closer. So I'm gonna attempt to tap it in here with the hammer. And now I'm gonna grab the impact and the air hammer and see if we can get it the rest of the way. I'm hoping now I've got enough worked out uh, that it still fits snug and it feels like it's pretty snug and um, it goes back in place. Now that I have this guy in place, I went ahead and put the clip on the top and uh, I went ahead and knocked the upper bushing out. I still need to knock this guy out and um, I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver. These things are pretty brittle. So that, both those are out. And then I've got to do two more on the door over here. So the top ones are in the actual um, hinge on the truck or the mount on the truck and the bottom ones are in the door. So I'll knock those out and go get the new ones and put them in place my old pen but there are two sizes um, there's a bigger one and the bigger one goes on the towards the head of the pen so here the bigger one will go on the bottom and uh, you can kind of tell because this guy as you can see just kind of falls around in there so you want to make sure you get the bigger one towards the head and um, the smaller one towards the tail of the actual door pin so I'm gonna pop these in real quick and uh, then we'll be able to get the hopefully the door back in place I'm gonna have to have some help I'm sure and um, get these new pins in now that I have the bushings in the door and the actual hinge itself it's time to put the pins in so I'm gonna have uh, my wife come out here and help me uh, we're gonna try to feed some of this stuff in there I can always pull this out later but basically I'm gonna have her guide the door while I put these pins in or the other way around. So the easiest part of this is done. I went ahead, I, I lined up the door while she put the pins in, which really helped. So now um, I'm gonna move this down out of the way. We'll see if we can tap this top pin in and then we'll see if we can get the bottom one in next. So you can hear my air compressor running. The only things we have to do now is put the spring back in, which you see goes here. That's why that's loose. 
and uh, obviously we need to pull our connections out and hook this guy back up but um, there are two tabs you put on the top of this I don't know guys they're just push on tabs I don't know really how much they do but I am gonna put them on uh, they're just snap on pieces so they're not like this ring they're literally like a one use push tab so I'm gonna put them on there just to uh, you know because they came with it but we're almost finished up here so at this point guys we are all finished up and uh, pretty exciting because like I said I wanted to get this done you can see I beat up some paint I actually touched the door to the fender out there uh, I didn't show you guys that but you know it happens and that's why I wanted to do this before it went to paint the other thing guys is um, I've got everything back together but it just doesn't shut in my opinion like it should now before I put the spring in it shut great so let me know in the comments if you had this issue I don't know if it has to do with this bushing right here that holds the arm that goes to the spring but I'm telling you guys it sucks it doesn't shut really well and um, I, I just think it should shut better like it hangs up and that bottom section isn't spinning and it's like that on the other side as well now if I take the spring out it does great but for some reason, and I put a little bit of grease on it, but let me know in the comments if you guys have any solutions for that. Should I take the spring out, get a different spring? Have you had this issue in the past? I've never had this problem, but um, you know, I've never replaced these either. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. I am finished. I'm completely soaked. I am sweaty. I'm going in to take a shower. But if you did enjoy this video, guys, and the fact that we are back on the Tahoe please go down and smash that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed, guys, go down, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, make sure you ring that bell icon. That notifies you every time we drop a new video. And well, stay tuned to see what we get into next.